Well, the Buccos winning 3-1 to one here in the third inning. We are pleased to be joined by one of the most popular Pirates in recent history, if not all of Pirates history. A.J. Burnett lives here in Maryland about a half hour away. Came over and see the rest of the boys. All right. This is year two of retirement for you. How's it treating you, and what in the world are you doing? What am I, what, what am I doing here in the stands? Yeah. I'm doing everything, really. I mean, day goes day goes by day by day, and the kids got something going on, but it's it's baseball with them just like it was baseball with me, so it keeps us busy. And um, I'm mowing enough grass where I get away from Karen for a little bit, so she ain't got to put up with me all day. Still miss it, but I'm enjoying like it's my first time in the stands ever, so brought AJ and Ashley with me and bringing some good luck, hopefully. Yep, AJ's two kids sitting right here uh, to his right. Sitting in the stands. This is the first time in your entire life you've ever watched a baseball game amongst the fans. What's his view like? Looks a lot easier from here, man. Same time, it looks harder from here. So I can see how everybody's like, oh, oh, oh. Um, but as you know, it's fun. It's different. Um, we always usually get a suite, you know, when we come to games. But I want them to be downfield level. And, uh, see how the guys play. See how they uh, go about their business. How they prepare on deck in the field and stuff like that. You played 17 years in the big leagues. When you think of your time wearing a Pirates uniform, now that you have some time between the end of your career and you being retired and now, what comes to mind when you think of that? Probably the greatest time of my career, hands down. Um, we were talking about it in the dugout. You know, I got to hang out with some of the guys earlier, and uh, you know, they were all like, you know, the best thing that's happened, they like, the best thing. I was like, I don't know about that. We just had a really good group at the right time, and, and that was a puzzle piece that, that helped fit the rest of the puzzle. So. Um, you know, I'm, I'm here. There's relationships. I mean, other teams come here that I played for, and I'm not in the seats watching them play. So there's a special uh, place in my heart for those guys down there and, and the Pittsburgh. Last time you came to watch the Pirates, Andrew McCutcheon promised he would hit you a home run in Philadelphia. He didn't hit it once. He did it twice. Did he make any promises tonight? I didn't ask him. I didn't want to put too much pressure on it. I know he's too uh, too away from something pretty special, and uh, I was just to see if I can bring it out of him without you know daring him or challenging him. So. I think I mentioned it to you, but I, I, I got a big room that I started with all 17 years worth of memorabilia, and you talk about a bunch of crap. But I had a nice bat rack, and I got one slot open, and I needed a cutchin bat. So that's why I'm here to get my McCutcheon bat. So you got it right. I did. I'm so proud of it. Well, AJ, it's uh, it's great to talk to you. I know you just asked me now, Greg. A moment ago, he just asked me where Greg Brown was. I said he's live on television right now. So is there anything you have for Brownie? Man, I miss you, Brownie, and that other cat up there with you. Bob Bob. <laughs> yeah, he knows what I'm talking about. We, we miss I'm him try too. Let's up there and see you guys. We miss him too. He says he misses you too. Uh, hugs and kisses, guys. Uh, and we also we asked him last year. You know, he told us Robbie that he was in great shape. We he was in <laughs> Philadelphia, and I, part of me wondered whether he, he was itchy. And he said, you know, uh, you know, I don't think Karen would like it. I said, you kidding? Karen would love it if you came back and pitched. Yep. So basically, when Brownie talked to you, he said, hey, you still look pretty good. You look good right now. I mean, are you coming back or what? <laughs> hey, you know what? I did think, where, did, where are you at, buddy? I did think about it for about three days. <laughs> and then I worked out and I ran once and I couldn't get up for about six days, so I just shut it right back down. That sounds like it's a resounding no, Greg. <laughs> we'll keep our hopes so up. So any We're rumors of an AJ door. Burnett comeback, uh, forget about it. It is not happening. I know he's having a great time. Hey, Robbie, tell him we'll never shut the door on that. We'll, we'll keep our hopes going. Bob and uh, Greg, they just said uh, they're never shutting the door on a comeback by you, okay? Just so you know from now on. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't count on it, but I wouldn't close the door either. <laughs> um, hey, you never know when AJ's going to pop up, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. He's still throwing <laughs> baseball. Brownie wanted to, uh, uh, he's giving you a wave. Look behind you right there. You see above that sign right there? You see him waving at you? There they are. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the famous AJ uh, stare. There it is. Really, I, I tricked those two guys, didn't I? Yeah. I tricked everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. One other thing before we let you go. When you look, remember the standing ovation, we interviewed your kids and you came off to that standing ovation. How cool, Mom, was that? And where did that stand out in your career? Man, that one, and, and that was, yeah, the, the game where you guys interviewed and that standing ovation. And the one I got, remember the day game I pitched against Colorado? Um, well, I mean, I could. I got a bunch of standing ovations. Like I said, I tricked a lot of people in Pittsburgh. Uh, but that's another thing. I mean, I felt like no matter what I did on the mound, uh, they all understood what I was about, and they all respected everything I did, whether I won the game or lost the game. Well, I know these fans in Pittsburgh, they certainly miss you. I know they're going to be blowing up your Twitter feed. So, uh, so give it's, been, it's been dead lately. I don't really tweet anymore. Nothing to tweet about. I'm going to tweet about my tractor. Yeah. All your, all the land you're riding your ATVs on? Yeah, right. Well, Instagram knows, but 
But I'm going to try to get up there since so school's out. You know, these guys get out next week, uh, actually into this week, and you know, maybe a weekend or two down the road, we'll get up there and spend a weekend in Pittsburgh. Certainly. AJ, thanks for doing this. Yeah, thanks. For